Welcome to another episode of Rithu the Explorer Travel Vlog. In this episode, let's dive into the charming shoreline of Whitby, steeped in maritime heritage and brimming with coastal allure of Whitby Beach. Stay tuned as we discover the most renowned restaurant in Whitby. Let's drive towards Whitby Beach area.
Nestled on the edge of the North Sea in Yorkshire, Whitby Beach is a picturesque haven that has captivated the hearts of visitors. A refreshing landscape where the sky meets the ocean, the locality of Whitby provides not just a tranquil escape, but also an invitation to explore its historic roots. One might assume a reasonable value in terms of beach facilities translates to convenience and accessibility. Whitby Beach doesn't disappoint. With its well-maintained promenade and the presence of necessary amenities, it ensures visitors can enjoy their visit comfortably. Public restrooms, nearby parking, and ease of access for those with disabilities reflect the thoughtful consideration of all beachgoers. Adding splashes of color to the sandy shores, the traditional beach huts at Whitby are a charming feature. Visitors can rent one of these iconic huts, a canvas for cherished memories year after year. Whether seeking solace with the sound of waves as a backdrop or cherishing time with family and friends, these beach huts provide an intimate coastal experience, assuming one of reasonable value and delight. Whitby is a prime location for fossil hunting, making it a popular destination for geologists and paleontology enthusiasts. The cliffs around Whitby are part of the Jurassic geological period, dating back approximately 180 million years. These cliffs contain an abundance of fossils, including the remains of marine reptiles, ammonites, and belemnites, which are beautifully preserved in the sedimentary layers. The process of fossilization in this area was facilitated by the rapid burial of these creatures in soft mud, protecting them from decay and predators.
You can view the fossils collected from Whitby at the Whitby Museum, and they are also on display at London's Natural History Museum and the Yorkshire Museum in York. If you haven't seen those episodes yet, I'll include the link in the description box below. The town celebrates this aspect of its heritage, with several shops selling fossils and local museums displaying significant finds. Whitby's fossil-rich beaches continue to attract scientists and tourists, who hope to uncover a piece of Earth's ancient past along its shores. Whitby, renowned for its scenic cliffs and fossil-rich shores, is also famous for its unique gemstone, Whitby Jet. This organic gemstone, known as Black Diamond for its intense black color and high luster, is formed from the fossilized wood of ancient trees similar to the Araucaria, or monkey puzzle tree. Whitby Jet has been used since the Bronze Age, gaining immense popularity during the Victorian era, particularly when Queen Victoria wore jet jewelry in mourning for Prince Albert. The lightweight and smooth finish of jet makes it ideal for jewelry and ornamental carvings. Sourced from the cliffs around Whitby and embedded in shale formations, this gemstone is showcased in the Whitby Museum, which holds a vast collection of jet artifacts. Today, Whitby remains a center for jet craftsmanship, with artisans continuing traditional methods and shops offering a range of jet jewelry, from contemporary designs to antique pieces. Whitby Jet's rarity and striking aesthetic make it highly collectible and valuable. And when it comes to cultural celebrations, Whitby's maritime legacy shines the brightest during the annual Fish and Ships Festival. Seafood connoisseurs and nautical enthusiasts converge on the shores to partake in this festivity that celebrates the town's fishing heritage. Food stalls teeming with the freshest catch, cooking demonstrations by renowned chefs, and a fleet of heritage vessels on display. The festival embodies the spirit of this seaside community. From the scenic tapestry of its location to the warmth of its traditional beach huts, Whitby Beach is where history and holiday serenity intertwine. Whitby Pavilion, located on the west cliff of Whitby, North Yorkshire, is a multifunctional venue with stunning views over the North Sea. It serves as a cultural hub, hosting a variety of events including live music, theater productions, film screenings, and more. The pavilion has a rich history and has been modernized through several renovations, maintaining its historic charm while providing contemporary amenities. It features a large auditorium, a smaller theater, exhibition spaces, notably, it hosts the annual Whitby Goth Weekend, drawing visitors from across the UK. Whitby Pavilion remains a key site for entertainment and community events in the town. Bram Stoker's Bench in Whitby is a significant landmark for literary enthusiasts and fans of the gothic novel, Dracula. This bench is said to be where the author, 
Bram Stoker, sat and found inspiration for his famous work during his stay in Whitby in 1890. The atmospheric surroundings with the Abbey's ruins and the dramatic coastline are thought to have influenced the setting and mood of Dracula. Today, the bench is a popular spot for visitors who want to soak in the same views that may have sparked the creation of one of literature's most enduring characters. We had enough time for dinner, so we decided to go for a drive through the coastal and rural landscapes. We started our journey from Whitby, heading north toward Sandsend. This short drive takes you along the A174, offering picturesque views of the coastline. Sandsend Beach is known for its lovely stretch of sandy beach, perfect for a leisurely walk or a quick stop to enjoy the sea views. Continued our journey from Sandsend to the village of Leith. It's a brief drive inland where you can explore the small, charming village with its historical features.
From Leith, proceed to Hinderwell, which is a short drive northeast. Hinderwell is a quaint village that offers a glimpse into rural Yorkshire life. The final leg of the journey takes you to Easington. This part of the drive takes you through some beautiful countryside landscapes, ending in this small village known for its pastoral settings. Then we drove back to Whitby. It's almost time for dinner. Overall, the drive from Whitby to Easington, via Sandsend, Lythe, and Hinderwell, covers a range of coastal and rural landscapes, making it a delightful and varied route for anyone looking to explore more of North Yorkshire's picturesque settings. The Magpie Cafe, located in the picturesque seaside town of Whitby, North Yorkshire, is a celebrated destination for seafood lovers. Situated on the harbor, this iconic eatery boasts exceptional views of the sea, making it a perfect spot for both dining and sightseeing. Renowned for its traditional British seafood dishes, the Magpie Cafe is particularly famous for its fish and chips, often hailed as some of the best in the UK. The menu also features a wide range of other seafood options, including fresh local catch, which showcases the richness of Whitby's maritime heritage. The interior retains a classic charm that complements its heritage, offering a cozy and welcoming atmosphere. The Magpie Cafe not only draws locals and tourists alike, but has also been recognized in various travel and food guides, adding to its reputation as a must-visit spot in Whitby. Whether you're looking for a quick bite or a leisurely meal with stunning views, the Magpie Cafe promises a memorable experience steeped in local flavor and tradition. Whitby Goth Weekend, particularly vibrant during Halloween, is a celebrated festival in the historic seaside town of Whitby, known for its connection to Bram Stoker's Dracula. This event, held biannually with one of the gatherings around Halloween, transforms Whitby into a gothic paradise, attracting thousands from the goth and alternative scenes across the globe. Participants don elaborate costumes ranging from traditional gothic to steampunk and beyond, creating a spectacle of unique style and creativity. The weekend features a variety of events, including music performances, a goth market, themed photo shoots, and more, all set against the backdrop of Whitby's eerie charm amplified by its Dracula-related history and the atmospheric ruins of Whitby Abbey. This Halloween celebration is not just a festival, but a vibrant expression of community and individuality within the Gothic subculture. As the waves retract and our episode draws to a close, we hope to have sparked your curiosity to discover the simple yet profound joys of Whitby's slice of the coast. Join us next time as we cast our net wider, exploring more stories from the vast ocean of Britain's coastal culture. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Until we meet again along the sandy shores, goodbye, and may your days be filled with seaside serenity.